Drive Friday on BBC Radio York, and uh, it's a very special night tonight. If you're keen on gazing at the night sky, and uh, I'm not talking about sitting on park benches or anything like that, oh, I don't know that happen. But it's not the stars that are the focus of attention tonight. It's the moon, and uh, the technical term. Now, this is the technical bit. All right. Apparently, it's a rising crescent moon, and uh, I believe this means it's it's a very young, very thin moon, and uh, it has particular significance for the is Islamic calendar. One of the best places uh, to view it, apparently, tonight will be Sutton Bank. So, uh, always a good place to go, anyway. And uh, Kumar Odin from the York Astronomical Society and, indeed, the York Mosque has been telling me what's so special about the moon tonight. In the Holy Quran, uh, it is stated that the crescent moon is to uh, determine time. Just like um, the orbit of the Earth within a 24 hour gives us a count of days, the orbit of the moon round the Earth within a month gives the count of month. So uh, people who are unable to calculate precisely, say, um, new moon conjunction time, would simply be able to count how many months has passed by uh, just looking at the crescent moon to the crescent moon. And especially this has a significance uh, in the worship aspect of Islam, such as Ramadan or the festivals of Eid, end of Ramadan or the time of uh, the pilgrimage. So the crescent moon starts the beginning of the month in the Islamic calendar. That's why it, uh, it is quite significant. Now, one of the uh, places that's going to get uh, possibly the, the, the best view of this is uh, atop of Sutton Bank, which uh, uh, whether you're religious or not, I, I find it a particularly spiritual place. So, uh, it's, uh, are you expecting a lot of people up there today? Um, well, uh, we, we have publicised this quite widely and we hope to get as many people as possible because there is no shortage of space. And um, uh, when uh, the moon is... Uh, you know, uh, youngest, uh, it appears quite low uh, on the horizon, and therefore it is important to have a clear horizon uh, and uh, as high as possible. And Saturn Bank being uh, 1,000 feet above sea level uh, is likely to give us, us that uh, good view. And so we are hoping by around 6:30 uh, to get uh, as many people as possible. Okay, as well as being uh, part of York Mosque, of course, you're, uh, as you said, you're with uh, York Astronomical Society, so, well, uh, presumably there'll be uh, members on hand to just explain what, what's happening, uh, the best view, what you're looking at, that kind of thing? Uh, uh, that's right. Um, uh, the Martin Willock is uh, our secretary, and he is a very experienced observer, and he, he uh, facilitates uh, uh, star parties at Sutton Bank throughout the year, and uh, he'll be there. We know precisely the, um, the direction it's going to be uh, and the height uh, the the altitude uh, and the best time it is going to appear so um, we also have uh, will have a telescope so if there is patches of cloud um, we would uh, use the equipment to actually locate it and uh, hopefully we, we should easily be able to uh, sight it by the naked eye when we know where it is leaving nothing to chance good stuff so uh, we're just hoping for clear night then we hope so and uh, uh, so far it is looking good although the forecast tomorrow is going to be a bit uh, cloudy i think but tonight i i hope uh, it stays clear as it is now yeah come on it's not uh, not wrong it's going to be uh, clear spells at first this evening before the showers return later on in the night so uh, should be good views especially from a uh, certain bank of that that's come i did talking to me from uh, the york astronomical society and uh, the York Mosque, and as he's been explaining, it's a bit of a double whammy for him tonight. The uh, very young moon, which uh, we don't get to see this side of the hemisphere that often. So uh, if you fancy going to see it, Sutton Bank then, the place to be. <laughs> Hello, Martin. Hello, Hello Kamaradin. Shalom alaikum. Wa alaikum. I'm... Uh, trying to take pictures with my <laughs> Nikon digital camera on my aprochromatic refractor um, which is pointing at the sky but we're not seeing much because of the clouds at the moment okay yes okay thank you Martin and uh, that's a quite a long uh, tube there this is uh, Take it to the camera. And who have we got here? Hello, Phil. Hi. You're right. Can you tell me what you're doing? Well, I'm just using my binoculars to try and find the crescent moon. 
Yes. Uh, if I do find it, I'm hoping to attach my camera onto the tripod to right. try and get some photographs. Right. But unfortunately, it's been unsuccessful. Right. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Philip. Hello. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. Right. I'm using a DSLR camera to capture often stunning images of clouds. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the crescent moon. Yes, if the cloud moves away. Yes. All right, thank you.